hello fam my lovely fam mm. so in today's video we're going to be testing out five nigerian made apps and this is a part two to a previous video i did where i tested out four different nigerian made apps and all these apps i'm testing out they're not fintechs at all like the likes of Ope and your CUDA and all that stuff like that you can always watch part one up here or in the description but without wasting your time let's start testing baby okay so the first app we're gonna be testing today is called oya watch tv so as you can see here we have like basically a lot of free things we can watch here and this is basically like any nigerian ip tv service app so we can literally watch anything here and they even have video on demand but then the thing is that their video on demand here is weak because they only have just three movies i think it's like the first avatar or i think it's the second one this is the first kung fu pen and then this one brett i've never heard of this before but let's see what live tv they have let's watch nca international okay Oh, it's nice that they're doing some artificial intelligence thing for a thousand youths they should like you know um quadruple that in my opinion okay so after i just canceled that they're just showing me this scene on the screen <laughs> sorry i coughed but is this nta's doing or the apps doing because i don't know okay so let's try watching something funnier let's watch some wap tv let's see what do they have here that's fun to watch can you give me the 10 million era I want it. It would help me. Give me the check, please. I'm your daughter. Take care of me. Nomad, good daughter. Can I be Nomad? Now, for me, I am going to be giving the Oya Watch TV app a 6.5 out of 10 because this app actually does something. Like, it can keep you entertained. I thought that the app is free, so now you can just buy your internet and watch news or watch whatever is here. And even if you don't live in Nigeria, let's know you live in another country and you just want to, you know, watch it inside, you can see what's going on in Nigeria and see what content is being watched in Nigeria. And this app is actually a really good app for that. My main complaint with this app is the fact that their video on demand is not strong at all. It's like weak sauce, in my opinion. So now the next app we're going to be testing today is called Discox now i found this app completely on accident because i was trying to actually make a youtube challenge video and all that stuff like that so i found this thing accidentally and it's good i found this accidentally so this app here is basically like the real nigerian version of reddit so basically like for reddit we do have a nigerian equivalent and that is nairaland but nairaland just sucks to me like the interface and everything is so unmodern and it sucks like i mean people still use it i still use it from time to time just to look at things but it just sucks but this one actually makes it to be more modern like this is like you can join like different communities here and this is really cool like see like crypto hub job finders blogging seo all that stuff like that like you can literally you know see and it has like the subreddit thing you know, like how ready it has r slash whatever this one has that type of thing here and this is really really cool that this has that and let's see you have polls and all that stuff like that like i really like that there's an app that has this type of stuff here it's not bad at all i, I like this okay so let me create my first post on this app here okay so um if you join this app here i'll put it in the description you can basically see my post and you can interact with me and follow me here if you want to and check this thing out now overall i am going to be giving this app a six out of ten now i am very happy that there is an actual reddit and all that that people can use that's a nigerian one now this app used to be available for ios i had this on my iphone but then i deleted it and then i wanted to install it back but the thing is that um the app was suddenly no longer on the app store and it's only on the play store and everything and the issue i also have with this app is the fact that you cannot post videos like at all like i tried to like upload a video like a short form video and everything 
it wouldn't upload i tried to reduce the quality and everything it would not upload still so um yeah if you just want to use it in just to like you know type in whatever you feel and everything you do that okay so the next app on our list we are going to be using is called avo tv so basically this is a live tv streaming service app just like the first one we did and it has lots of apps like ait wap tv silverbird tv and all that stuff. so let's try out one of these tv silverbird i want to see what they have here watch live oh wow that's weird okay so let's look for something else here to watch let me see sports grid can we watch this mm, i'm not really a fan of boxing but this actually looks pretty interesting fight him win you can do this come on mbappe 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 <laughs> Now, overall, I'm going to give this app like a 7 out of 10. I do like this one better than the first one. Like, I don't know why, but I like this one much better. I feel as if, the, yeah, this one here actually has like more channels and options and everything. And I just feel as if this one just feels a lot nicer. I like it. Okay, so the next app we're going to be testing is called the Langa app. So, this helps you to learn like different languages like Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, all that stuff like that. So let me register on this thing first and we'll test this out. So let's see this interactive lesson here. An Igbo person is based on... Let's see. Okay, so the audio is not available yet, but let's practice speaking. Okay. Ne. Ne. Should it be like stop recording or something? Mm -hmm. Let me do it again. Miri, Miri. Mm -hmm. How do I say food? Ni. Yay! I like how that thing did. How do I say what? Miri. Hey! I like how we did this thing. Okay. This isn't bad at all. Can we do a final quiz? Oh wow! You all new. Yeah. Our Angi. Yeah. Me new. Yeah. Water Miri. Yeah. How is there? yeah okay so now this app has another feature where you can play different games like this one huntella beads and moza's box let me see this huntella evade your enemies capture the word okay oh okay so this game is like pac-man Oh, whoa, this is cool. So this thing is like Igbo Nigerian Pac-Man. <laughs> this isn't bad at all. Like, I like this. Okay, so we now have the beads game. Let's see. Let's see. Um, we're meant to. What are we doing? Oh, whoa, okay. Wait, how do... How am I supposed to... Okay, I'm meant to move like this. Oh, they even have Nigerian. This is like Nigerian snake. Oh, this is so cool. Like for a language learning app, this is cool that they have all these games here. This snake. Ooh. Okay. R B T. We're meant to. Oh, this is cool. We're getting like all the Igbo alphabets here. This is nice. This is. <laughs> okay. So the final game we are playing is Moses Box in this thing. So use your language knowledge to, to break the code. Okay. 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 So wait. What exactly are we breaking? Mm hmm. Let me see. Hmm. Let me try making a word. Achi. This is a word in Igbo. Will this open the save? Whoa. Okay. 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 This is nice. This is nice. Um. Let me see. H E H E H E is like the morning in Igbo. Oh. Is this game like Wordle or something? I think it is like a Nigerian Wordle. Let's see. Um. Ochi. Yes. Ochi is a word in Igbo. Let's try that. Let me try with this one. No. Okay. So basically, the word word should have it starts with E. E C. Let me see. Does it end with an E? Like Eche. Okay, this is a Nigerian word. So the word we have there are two E's in this and then this one is in the correct place. I lost, but still, like, this is actually really amazing. Like, this is basically the Nigerian version of Duolingo. And it's really cool that this thing is that interactive that you can actually learn the language and all that stuff like that. Like, it's really, really nice. And I think I'm going to give this, like, a 7.5 out of 10. 
that's what i'm gonna give this like a 7.5 i like this so much i just wish that you know like they could give the player the option to customize their avatar in the game because like in this game you can't and i wish that the games were a bit more interactive like the pac-man game i just feel as if like if they added more animations to it that it would be much better and all that and i wish that maybe the games had tutorials on how to actually sit down and play because this game they didn't really have tutorials on what to do so i didn't really understand it at first until you just you know you play it and everything so that's why i'll give this app the rating but for real this app is really good and y'all should try it okay so our final app on this list is called Nkene which is basically a an app that you can learn languages and also like basically the, like the nigerian version of duolingo this is really nice like ooh, ebo tutors wow okay let me just log into this thing and get started okay so while setting up on this game i found out that you can learn more languages you can even learn the twi or is it twi from ghana sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrongly ghana people i'm begging you don't kill me but it's cool that you can learn Igbo, hausa yoruba and good is that you can learn pigeon here too this is like really really cool so i am gonna be learning the nigerian pigeon here let's see lesson one Ooh, let's see lesson. Hello, Oga. How you day? My name is Narcissi Shalon. I be woman. Okay, that's actually not bad. Like, you have this tutor here that's teaching you all the stuff here. But then, if you want to learn more stuff, you pay lots of money here. But, I mean, if it's for learning this thing, I think it's worth the money, though. Like, for something to be this accessible, like, to learn, it's not really bad. And, and you can learn about Ghana Jalov. This is nice. And you can even hear all these um afro beats you can actually play them here and you have blogs and is this is a podcast here can we listen to it um welcome to nkenne my name is progress and i'm your host here on the nkenne podcast today we're quickly going to look at african countries with islam as the major religion okay this isn't bad like i like this stuff a lot what is that we can't have any offline stuff here and all that uh, shoot but i wanna can we practice with flashcards in this game okay no flashcards that's weird quick let's see my Nigerian pigeon has improved by 50%. I don't know how. When I didn't even listen up to like a minute of this thing. Sound table oh, and all that. Now for me, I think I'm going to just be giving this app a 6 out of 10 or like a 5.5. .5, like in between that like rating. Now this app isn't bad and everything. Like the app actually is pretty good. But the issue is that... If you select one language that you want to learn you cannot change the language i think you have to pay before you can change it and it's really annoying that you cannot learn and switch to multiple languages at the same time and then most of the features like the flashcard and everything they were not working at all only that um audio that you could listen to from the tutor or something that's the only thing that works and everything and like i just felt if this app is not as interactive as the langa app like i like the langa app better and i thought that i would like nkene more than the langa app but it turns out that i was wrong like the langa app is much better by far in my opinion but however speaking of these apps the langa app and nkene or and other stuff like that there are actually two demographics that i would propose that they should actually be promoting their app to the first demographic is obviously like children in like secondary school, primary school, stuff like that. They should promote their app to those people and all that sort of that because like, you know, they still learn Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba in all these schools. So they should promote their apps to those sets of people. It would do well, but do you want to know an even better demographic? People who live abroad, specifically like Nigerians who live abroad. This app will really do well if you promote it to those people so um basically um there's this event they do this Igbo related event that they do in the u.s 
basically they do it in houston in texas and so many nigerians who live in the u.s come from all over the country in u.s just to go to houston just for this event and they're learning how to say things like how to say bia in Igbo, how to say how like you know how are you in Igbo, stuff like that how to say good night and good morning in Igbo. they're learning also like full-grown adults are, they really want to learn they're teaching people how to actually speak the Igbo and everything if now that like the langa app or in Kanem, but the langa app is the better one in my opinion if now that they go to these events and they promote their app the amount of money they are going to be making from that app is going to be astonishing like if they promote their app there and tell people okay use this app learn Igbo, learn all this stuff like that trust me this app will do so well like if you promote it to those people who stay abroad like you know there are people who stay abroad that, like you know the Igbo's house europe was like us uk europe all those countries promote this app to them and this app is going to do signs and wonders for them because some other they want to learn Igbo and everything. And I feel as if this app would do so well if they promote it there. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Um, which app here was your best and which app will you be trying in this video? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I hope I see you guys next time. Bye-bye.